Hello and welcome. In this series, I am going to demo some features that have been added to Selenium 4. All components in the Selenium family have a new feature, Selenium IDE, Selenium WebDriver, and Selenium Grid. Selenium IDE is the component that allows us to record and play back our test. Selenium WebDriver is an API that allows us to create and execute our test scripts by driving a browser. Selenium Grid is a way for us to run our tests in parallel across more than one browser, across more than one operating system, and across more than one machine. The main reason for upgrading from Selenium 3 to Selenium 4 is the W3 web driver, <laughs> is the W3C web driver protocol. It's the new architecture for Selenium. I will discuss new features for the complete Selenium family suite, Selenium web driver, Selenium IDE, and Selenium grid. For Selenium web driver, I am going to explain the new Selenium 4 architecture, W3C web driver protocol, then demo the relative locators. Relative locators is a way to locate an element depending on the position of another element. Next, I will demo how to handle a window by switching to a new window and by switching to a new tab. Then take a look at Git Rect. Git Rect was implemented as a combination of Git Location and Git Size. We will also Take a screenshot of a web element. Last is the Chrome Devs Tools protocol, which helps us to get the development properties. Although there are three components in the Selenium family suite, when we only say Selenium, we are referring to Selenium Web Driver. Therefore, let's start with two drivers that have an update. Chrome driver and Edge driver. Both drivers now extend Chromium driver. Also, both browsers, Chrome and Edge, are built on the same Chromium platform. In Selenium 3, all of the drivers, including Chrome and Edge, extended the remote web driver. However, with Selenium 4, Firefox driver, Internet Explorer driver, Opera driver, and Safari driver extends remote web driver. In fact, Chromium driver also extends remote web driver. Remote web driver is a way to run our test remotely, but we have to configure our test. The benefit of Chrome driver and Edge driver Extending Chromium driver is access to the Git Devs Tools method. Let me search for Git Dev Tools. And we see the Devs Tools class with Git Devs Tools as the method. This method will allow us to diagnose a problem and track what's going on in the browser. There's also a change to two methods in the fluent weight class. On the left side, we have Selenium 3. And on the right side, we have Selenium 4. The width timeout method and polling every method no longer have two parameters, long duration and time units, but they have been replaced with only one parameter, duration, in Selenium 4. Even the finds by interface, this here, the finds by ID interface, have been deprecated and removed from Selenium 4. The other finds by interfaces, which is finds by class name, finds by CSS selector, finds by link text, finds by name, finds by tag name, and finds by XPath have also been removed from Selenium 4. 
Here's a web page that shows more deprecated APIs for Selenium. If we just scroll down, we see some of the methods we already mentioned that's been removed from Selenium 4. But this page will give you a list of what has been removed from Selenium 4. Next are the new features for Selenium IDE. And I'll see you in the next session. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.